Welcome to the DMZ. Today, we've brought in a beautiful STB556 build. As everybody has been telling me that this thing is amazing, and I am likely to believe so. It's got fantastic recoil. It's also got really good stats overall. The only downside is the 42 round mag. Now, I brought this in with my MCPR, as I think this is a great assault rifle as a sniper support. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, in terms of what we're doing to, in today's video, we're mainly looking to regain today. You may notice that I have a one plate and I also have a small backpack. So we wanna do a little bit of regain here and show you guys some methods for doing that. Um, so first, now we gotta check our lockers. I'm gonna take the watch actually for some money. I need this quad. Oh, that recoil feels really good actually. Like really good, wow. All right, let's go ahead and take this quad, because what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to kill the chemist this run, you guys, and I'm going to kill the chemist so that we can get a gold skull, and we can work on getting a secure backpack, as when it comes to my regains now, I'm looking for, you know, specific things, like uh, comms vest, um, a, a secure backpack, you know, things that are extremely valuable to us now. But one little trick I'm gonna show you guys here first, after I go to the hospital, I'm gonna stop at the hospital because we need to make sure that we have a self revive, you know? You already know, that's part of our regain process here. Gotta have a self regain, self revive, sorry. I was gonna say self regain there. <laughs> Gotta have one. Oh, I think I had seen a cream back there too. Let's get a gas mask, especially since we're going to be going for the chemist, we might need it. I wanna be fast here because I know that there's a couple player spawns around here. Oh, it's locked. Okay, got it. That means it's for the mission, for the contract. Might be a battery in here. No, car battery, not the right kind of battery. Take a munitions, even though I already have one. Might drop it. Another thing I like about this STB is you're really fast moving with it. I really appreciate that, honestly. Another self-revive. Looking for a self-revive gun, ideally, at this point. That's another stuff for you, but I don't need three. My backpack's small as is, so we're all good there. Yeah, see, there's a player spawn somewhere over there, and we don't want to get entangled in that. Let me go over here. Go back to our quad. Gunshots that way, I see red. Okay, just kind of taking a look at what else is around. All right, so next stop. Now we're going to go to a regain spot over here. Now this regain spot is similar to crypto in the sense that you're basically getting into a room that would normally require a key, but without the key. So I'm gonna show you guys that here. Now what you do is you're gonna come over here to Al Safar Quarry. Fortunately, threat level's low, which is always appreciated. And what we're going for is the crane control room. So what you do here is we're gonna break the windows. Just by a simple melee, we're gonna jump up and then, once we're in a certain spot, we're gonna run at it, and then crouch. Wait, wait a second here, though. That could be a real team. Where did that car just... get past me? Okay, anyway. Break the windows. Jump up here. Sometimes you might have to try a little bit. It's a little tricky. You gotta get just right, and it'll let you in. Keep running at it. Just kinda run at it, and then squeeze in. It's a little tricky. Might have to try it a couple times. I had to do it a couple times, personally. Run at it. Ah, come on. Come on. Yeah, it's a little Come finicky. On, you cash reward contracts on your oh, you have to get, I think you have to get just right in the middle. There you go. Okay. I haven't done it too many times, so it's taken a little bit of practice. That's perfectly fine. Hopefully we get a backpack in here. I'd really like to get a backpack. UAV. You know that'll come in handy. I'm going to pop it now. Clear my area. Oh, so it was a real player. Wow, would you look at that? Okay, do we have a store nearby? Not an area that I really want to grab one at. Actually, there's not that many AI down there. I might as well. There's really only the car, so it's actually a pretty good store to go to. Let's go hit it up. All right, so there's a solo at the stronghold there. We're going to leave him be. He's just another solo player. No reason to go after him or anything like that. We're just focusing on a regain. Well, technically, a reason to go after him would be to get a faster regain going, but eh, I'd rather just do it the method that I'm gonna show you guys here. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear those out. We're gonna get a two-plate vest, medium backpack, and some plates. All right, that money served us well. Is that like a placed trophy system? That's really weird, actually. Um, we'll get a new vehicle here. And what we're gonna do next, now that we have like kind of a good starting point for our regain, kind of just to push through stuff, we're gonna work towards the chemist now. I am still looking for batteries. Eh, none here, it's okay. All right, let's go. We don't want to lose too many plates on these AI. All right, now, this, mind you, this whole time we're going to work our way over to the chemist and we're doing all of our regaining. We're also looking for, you know, two hard drives, the smooth cream, which we already have, and two batteries. So that if need be, we can craft our comms vest. Because that thing is wonderful, especially as a solo player. Comms vest is beautiful, you guys. It'll really keep you alive, letting you know when enemy operators are nearby. Now, the secure backpack, that would be ideal. We would love ourselves a secure backpack. Woo! These AI are aggressive, you guys. All right, all right. Yeah, what well, we're gonna do, what? I, I've never seen this as a chemist area. This is actually gonna be new for me. It might be a little harder than I'm used to locating the chemist, since again, never done this one. This is a new location, so. It'll be interesting. Ooh, Satik Cave is high. What I like though around here is that's not that's not a regular um, named area, which means it's probably not going to be that bad in the AI. It might be a good chemist spot. We're going to find out. And we have a gas mask, which is clutch. Easiest way to get gas mask too, at least the most consistent way, in my opinion, is hospitals. So, you know, you already got to go there for a regain anyway, usually, to get a self-revive and such. So you might as well go ahead. Oh. Oh, he's going to Syed City. Nah, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now one good thing to do whenever you're fighting the chemist is to always take, like, a superior high ground. Because you might just be able to snipe him from the high ground and kill him quite easily. That's kind of what we're going to aim to do here. And then you can just go in and pick up his loot at that point. And keep going up. Let's see here. Just trying to keep an eye out for him. We're going to use our spotter scope. Okay, let's find him. Okay, so he's... Oh, there he is. Right there. And he's dead. Two headshots with the one-shot sniper. Easy peasy. These AI are mad. Okay, now, getting in and out of that will be a little tricky. We gotta be patient here. Taking out some AI. Fortunately, with our one-shot sniper, we're gonna make clean work of them. We're also kind of luring them over here. Which is good, because I can, re in real reality, I can jump off of here and go loot. But we're gonna kind of deal with them. I got one behind me. Whoa, he snuck up. Look at that. What a smart one, huh? Put an extra gas mask in the backpack. Might need it when we go into loot. Yeah, this uh, STB making good work of the AI here. Let's pick up these trophies. Might go deposit them. I don't really go out of my way to deposit trophies in DMZ. My life is more important than the trophies. But if I happen to come across it, you know, I might as well. All right, let's go get our beautiful rewards. Now, there's going to be some AI here, so we got to be careful. Don't want to die picking up our beautiful rewards. Does get a little crazy in here sometimes. Ooh. How many plates do we have? All right, we're all good. Woo, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that, you guys. AI are heavy in here. I feel like they made the chemist a little more difficult with the AI there. Kind of crazy, huh? Might have needed more gas masks than I thought, honestly. I probably have an AI climbing up to me, too. Most likely. Good, we got grenades. We're gonna have to go down eventually. All right, our gas mask is getting low, so we're gonna have to push down. 
I don't have a choice. Use cover. Oh, that's a medic vest right there. All right, all right. We got the goods. Just gonna play it up here, play it safe. All right, looks good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, and now that we have our beautiful gold skull and a three-plate vest, it's not a comms vest, but still a good one nonetheless, what we're gonna focus on next is working on getting our secure backpack, as I think that is one of the greatest things you can obtain in regards to your regain. Oh, I'm stuck right there on nothing. Okay, so for our backpack, we're going to now need a drill and gas. Um, so I'm just gonna head, mm, let's see, I'm probably over here. Reason I don't, I don't actually wanna go into hydroelectric because it just told us, wait, actually, I think it said marshlands was the hot area. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it actually said marshlands. Maybe um, hydroelectric isn't bad. Let's go find out. Let's see what area is hot and what's not. We got a vehicle, so we're all good there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive up over here and check out this store and gas station. See how many AI are in the area. Okay, it's not looking that bad. Doesn't look that bad. Let's get plates quickly in case anything goes down. Okay, we got plenty of plates. Let's look for gas. Okay, gas. Let's go ahead and drop the smooth cream. We're not gonna need that anymore, not at this point. Okay, now all we need to do next is get a drill. Okay, I don't see one in there. Just kind of browse in that area. Ooh, we have a helicopter over here. Look at that, guys. Now that, as you know, for solo players, that's amazing. I would love to get my hands on it. Now, I don't know specifically the best spot for drills. I kind of just find them anywhere, honestly. I don't really have a specific area. If you guys know a specific area where drills are, let me know in the comments below, because yeah, I really don't have like a sweet spot for drills. I just kind of look everywhere and find them, honestly. They don't seem that rare, in my opinion. I just kind of roam around and you just end up seeing them on like shelves and stuff. Oh, somebody's here. There's a team here. There's a team here. You see that boat dropping in? There's a team nearby. I don't like that. Not when I have something like a gold skull on me. Not when I have something like a gold skull on me. Ooh. Unping this. And the AI are all locked on to me, so I'm being really loud. I'm being pushed by a ton of AI. I need to get out of here. No good. I'm getting grenades thrown at me? I don't think that's real players. I think that's the AI. Oh, man. I need this helicopter. Oh, there's a freaking HVT. That's what's going on here. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and play it up. I need that helicopter. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. There we go. We're out of there. Woo! Wasn't liking the feeling of that place, you guys. Was not liking the feeling of that. Oh, and look at that. There's team right there fighting that helicopter. All right, let's get ourselves an electric drill, shall we? I'm gonna check over here for one. I feel like this is a pretty low key area where there's not gonna be a lot of AI or players. Once we get our secure backpack, I'll feel really good. Won't be as worried. Hey, buddy. 
Guys, guys, leave. Oh, no, they destroyed the chopper. Okay. Okay, guys. That was very rude. Oh. Get him with a little gun butt there. Whoa! Wait, didn't I kill him? Is there a second one there? Huh. Alright, let's find ourselves an electric drill. Um, none here. Unlucky. We'll keep looking. A rocket was all that was in that box? It's a little weird. No. Ultra one activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Okay, we don't have any vehicles anymore, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna head back this way because we'll probably check over here for an electric drill. <laughs> unfortunately, we lost our helicopter, so that's a sad day. I thought I heard players shooting at me. Yeah, you really move fast. Oh, wow. Alright. Now, it looks like there's a care package landing over there. Yeah. And there's a team on it. There's also a team with the weapons case over there. I saw gunshots. So they're getting into it. Ooh, yeah. I've actually found some electric drill in these tents as well. Ooh, these things have been cleared out, it looks like. Ooh, look at that, though. Tier 3 backpack. Don't mind if I do. Another great part for our regain here. I am not seeing electric drills, though, you guys. Oh, there we are. And two of them. Would you look at that? Okay, so now we need a store, which was right over here. Let's head there. Did I just hear something? I definitely hear something over there. Interesting sound. Maybe AI shooting rockets? Let's go ahead and get ourselves some ammo. Or more so grenades in case something goes down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's another player being sneaky like myself. Enemy operators have extracted a weapons case. Pretty sure. So now I can stow this, and I'm all good on that front. Ultra One, we're seeing increased activity in the area. Stay sharp. All right, we're all full. We're all good now. Now let's get ourselves a vehicle, which we could grab one over here. Ooh, I kind of don't like the position I'm in between the train and the sounds that I heard. I have shots towards the train. Oh, that's at Rohan, where that UAV tower was lit up. Gotta be... All right, you guys. So we got a pretty good regain here. We've got ourselves a secure backpack with a large backpack stowed inside of it. We've got a suffer. The only thing we're kind of lacking is a kill streak. Would be nice to have, um, as well as a golden gas mask. But that's being greedy. If I was to go for you know every single thing, um, we don't want to do that. What I would like to do is safely exfil, and it looks like we actually have a hostage rescue over in the city. The city might not be the best place to try to pull something like that off at, but eh, might as well give it a try, right? Because the other exfils are pretty far away. And ultimately, if you're doing a regain as a solo, you do want to exfil as safely as possible. There are two safer methods, but they're a little more difficult to obtain. You obviously, you have the personal exfil. But that's going to cost you 50k, right? Then you also have uh, the Exfil Heavy Chopper, but you have to find the gas, which there are only three locations that I know of. What in the world? Oh, oh, this might not be good, actually. There's people shooting across rooftops. We are out of here. This is Camp City. No way. No way. We are not going to have anything to do with that, you guys. We are out of there. Uh-uh. You guys start seeing bullets fly. Look at that. I still see bullets. They're 
Two teams probably sniping at each other from the rooftops of Mount Monster City. I go out there in this chop top here. It's over for me. I'll see you later. I'll be toast. I'll get one shot sniped in the head. Easiest thing you ever seen them do. And then there goes our regain. And I don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on an exfil. Um, a good exfil, I think, is Shreem. Honestly, out of the exfil options that we have, I think Shreem is the best one. Even though there's an active SAM site there, I still believe that that's actually the best one to go to. Honestly. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do here. Now, I am a little worried about going past this gas station in this chop top. Shop Top, as you guys may notice, is not my favorite vehicle, at least safety-wise. Quite a frightening one. Now, the plus side is, if I do die, I'm at least going to keep my self-revive in my backpack, because it is in my secure bag. But realistically, I'd love, absolutely love, to keep my secure bag. So, that would be the ideal thing. In my opinion, and I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. I think that the skeleton key and the secure backpack are the two most valuable items in the DMZ. Let me know down below what you guys think are the most valuable items now in the Season 3 update. Because for me, it's Skeleton Keys and the Secure Backpack, which is basically also translate to GPUs and Gold Skulls as well, right? Because you need those to craft. Now, Gold Skulls I wouldn't say are super rare, because you can basically kill any boss. Um, and by killing bosses, you essentially are going to open up the ability to craft a Secure Backpack. But, you know, Crafting it, you know, getting the remaining items, and then getting out successfully is a journey in itself that you ha has to be considered. So, which is why I would say that the secure backpack is more rare than, like, the gold school, right? Because it takes more effort. Obvious. All right. Yeah, I've actually had quite a few successful exfils here um, as a solo, honestly. Kind of a fan of this one. All right, you guys. All right. And this STB, you guys, it's been it's been putting in work. Great. Great gun. Great PvE-wise. We didn't get to test any of the PvP here. But again, this is more of a regain run. Um, I need a secure backpack uh, for some future missions. We're also low on time. If you notice at the top left, we have two minutes left before the gas starts to move, which we're pretty close to. So it's best we just get out of here. We don't want to push our luck in this kind of scenario. We already we already had good luck taking out the chemist and getting a large backpack and all that other stuff, you know. A lot of good stuff here. Also, let me know what your guys' favorite uh, vests are. I love the comms vest, obviously. I've spoken about that before. I do think my second favorite would either be the Medic or the Tempered. I haven't really got to use either of them, actually. Um, this is actually my first Medic vest, in fact. So I'm actually really excited to get to use this thing a little bit, you guys. I think the medic vest is really cool, especially if I do, you know, go in with a team. Maybe in my next video, I'll go in with a team, take a revive pistol, you know, kind of be the medic for the team. I think that'd be really cool, um, something we might try and do. So look out for that. Um, and, you know, we're going to have some cool stuff coming in the future. You guys almost, you guys will also notice that I recently posted a video that has me going into another extraction shooter, that one being called The Cycle. I plan to do a series where I go through all the other extraction shooters that are out there on the gaming market right now, just to show you guys what the other ones are like, just to kind of give you insight into what playing other extraction shooters feels like. I'm not switching to those games, so don't worry. I just want to show you guys what those are like, right? We have definitely some new ones coming out in the future too like heartland division which should be really cool hopefully we'll have to wait and see anyways next i'm going to show you guys the build for this stb556 build we have the amop v4 with this tuning right here we have the stip 40 grip with this tuning right here we have the 42 round mag of course we have the demo firm grip underbarrel with this tuning right here and lastly we have the bruin turuco 686 millimeter barrel with this tuning right here now you guys this assault rifle is built for long range but because of the way this weapon handles and because of the things that we have attached here, it also handles really fast, so it's effective as a sniper support rifle. Honestly, all around great weapon. I definitely advise giving it a try. Hope you guys appreciate this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Helps the algorithm, helps me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.